First up of my day is always hydration. I am a tea babe, rain or shine, and I have been super on drinking my two liters of water a day. I don't always make it, so let's see how I get on today. I can't hit the caffeine first thing in the morning, so I usually have something fruity or herbal. Today is just a lemon and ginger tea with some honey and some apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Now, I'd be lying if I said I woke up and made granola every day, but today happens to just be the granola day of the month. So into a small milk pan, I put about 40 grams of coconut oil, 80 grams of honey or maple syrup if you want to make it vegan. Another 80 grams of peanut butter. Let the ancestors guide you with the vanilla measurement and then a pinch of salt. Put that over a low heat, mixing occasionally until combined. But in the meantime, you're gonna get started on the rest of the granola base. So for mine, I just mix a bunch of nuts, about 150 grams, um, and mix cashews, pecans, almonds, whatever you like. I don't like walnuts, but my mum would put walnuts in. <laughs> you can chop them by hand if you want. This is just super quick. It does make them a bit irregular, but I don't mind. Into a mixing bowl, I put 150 grams of rolled oats and then add in the nut mix. I like to mix these together first just so that they're all like equally distributed before I add anything wet. But then into that, just pour your melted peanut butter coconut oil mix and mix that all together too. You want everything to be nice and evenly coated. Then spread it all out on a baking sheet. I kind of like to chop it to spread it and then squish it so that it bakes into clusters and it's not just like a sheet of single oats. I put it in the oven at 106 degrees Celsius on fan and after 15 minutes, I like to gently mix it up a little bit, but be super gentle because I don't like to ruin those clusters or else you will end up with a tray of single oats. I put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes until it's golden brown on all sides. Whilst my granola was cooling, I took the chance to go for a run and also because I didn't have any yogurt. So I went into Tesco and grabbed that on the way back. I like the Outpro Plain No Sugar Yogurt. I start work at 9 a.m. and that is a bit too early for me to eat. So I usually deal with emails or anything urgent and then I'll go and have breakfast. About 9.45, I mix the granola, the yogurt, and today I just have some strawberries and then I will prepare my caffeine. I'm all about matcha at the moment, but I literally like it like tea. I see on Instagram a lot of that kind of latte style, but I literally just make it like tea. So whiskey, whiskey, whisk, and a splash of oat milk. I look like but I make no apologies for the fact that it's bloody free then vitamin time dates have been at the front of the supermarket for the last month of Ramadan and inspired me to pick them up one day I don't know why they have hella health benefits so yeah I've just been having a couple of days lately for lunch today, I literally just grabbed a bunch of veggies from the fridge. I eat stir fries like three times a week, so this is not really much of a recipe. But I like to start with the broccoli and the mushrooms because I find they take the longest to cook. And then things like asparagus and green beans in last.
chili flakes on everything. I added in some whole wheat noodles and half a sachet of stir fry sauce from the night before because I literally, I told you, I have them like all the time. So I had, I had had one literally the night before. Sesame seeds and spring onion on stir fries. Chef's kiss. I wouldn't be me if one of my meals didn't have a dessert. So mid-afternoon blondie and tea moment, PG tips gang and you can fight me on that. When dinner time arrived, I discovered I had one clove of garlic left. So my lonely clove and one small onion met in a pan with a little bit of oil to soften. When they got going, I added some mustard seeds and then I added my spice mix. This is gonna be something of a chickpea curry. I make it on my Instagram stories all the time. So if you've ever asked me for the recipe, this is kind of it. The spice mix is one teaspoon of ground turmeric, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of hot chili powder, half a teaspoon of coriander seeds, half a teaspoon of paprika, and I added a teaspoon of garlic granules to make up for a pathetic one clove of garlic. I also had some chopped garlic in the fridge, so I added that too because garlic is life. This is also when I should have added one tablespoon of garam masala, but I forgot, and yeah, you'll see when I remember later. <laughs> I add around two tablespoons of tomato puree and then cook out the base spice mix for about five minutes until the paste really darkens. Mm. Add in one can of drained chickpeas. You can soak chickpeas if you want, but personally ain't nobody got time for that. So I use tin chickpeas. Add in half a can of coconut milk and then the same amount in boiled water or veg stock. It was at this point I remembered I had not put the garam masala in, so yeah. Ideally that should have been cooked down first, but mine's going now. <laughs> I love okra. I know certain people don't really like it. Sometimes it has a slimy kind of texture to it, but I absolutely love it. I buy the chopped frozen bags and just literally always have some in the freezer. Also, it is not my freezer if there is not a bag of frozen spinach in. Curries, smoothies, omelets, spinach is there. Once that all wilts down and mixes in, we are done. Super, super simple chickpea curry and some basmati rice that I was cooking secretly on the side. I didn't quite hit my two liters of water today, but I did my best. Thank you so much for watching this what I eat in a day. Let me know via these kind of videos in the comments below and tag me on Instagram if you make any of the recipes. See you in my next video. Bye.